Hello everybody, it's Alon Akum and Marcel here and welcome back to beautiful Baghdad. I actually just arrived here a few hours ago and today is Eid. Eid Mubarak to all of you. I hope you guys had an incredible Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, my Ramadan was amazing. I spent it in Egypt, Misr. I spent it in the UK. I was in Lebanon and now I'm in Baghdad for the final day today. I'm currently here in Karmiya, which is in the northern part of Baghdad. I'm going to be here exploring, seeing what they're doing tonight for the final day of Ramadan. Let's go. So I've been to Iraq many many times over the last few years and one of my favorite reasons why I keep coming back is actually because of Arbaeen, an incredible pilgrimage walk all the way from Najaf to Karbala, which hopefully in a few days I'll be heading to Karbala. But all the time that I was walking, I was seeing these uh, the Kubu Wakibs and they were handing out food, they were giving you tents and things like that to stay in, whatever you used to pray. And right now, because it's Ramadan, there's so many people giving out free food, free water, free drinks, and people are all coming down together towards the shrine. I'll show you in just a second. Sitting down, having iftar, which will happen in just a few moments. And this is what Iraq is all about. This is what I want to show the world. The hospitality here is just incredible. People are there for each other. Everyone is the same. This is one thing I really would love the world to learn from. Hospitality and kindness goes a very long way. As you guys can see just behind me, a sea of people ready for the iftar. It's going to happen in, I would say, about 10 minutes so far with the light. Let's see for the Azan. But it's just incredible. Look at these people. It's amazing. I'm so happy to be back. Hello, Mr. Halana Bibi. Kefak? Ali. Ali. Nice to meet you. It's me, Jay. And I'm in Britannia. Sharafit. Very good. Very good. Very good. Kula tamao. Wash, wash. Very good. Eid Mubarak. I love you. I love you too. As you can see, it extends all the way from the shrine, all the way down to the other end of beautiful Karmiya. It's an incredible atmosphere. The atmosphere here is just beautiful. So many incredible Iraqis coming up to me saying hi. As always here in the country, I arrived just a few hours ago and already, every time I leave and I come back, I just get overwhelmed with Iraqi kindness and hospitality. I'm gonna introduce you now to Elena and Jerome, two of the most talented photographers and videographers who have just arrived for their first time here in Iraq. I'm so excited for them to experience Iraq for the next 10 days. Finally more tourists are coming here and it's so amazing to see. Look how many people there are guys. Wow. Hello Masalan. Nice to meet you. Habibi, Ala Masalan. Is is Mac? Muhammad? Is me Jay? Nice to meet you. How are you? Okay, we have just sat down around all of these incredible people and just having conversations with these guys. All the beautiful kids behind us. We have the dates ready. Rice, of course. My water. Ah, uh, shukran. Thank you. I'm being offered so much food. This is good. Everyone's handing it out. Suddenly we've got dates. I can't remember the name of this. I think it's like a dal curry with rice, beans, of course, and laban, labne, or iron. My favorite. So I'm going to try this. I've never actually heard of this or tried it here in Iraq, but someone just gave it to me. This is uh, tahin. It's very, very, very sweet. Oh. Texture is very uh, unique. There's so much there right now. I think I need to get more of the sweet part. It's very good. It's crunchy and soft. And... Yeah. A lot of sugar, a lot of tahini also. 
Island. There's yeah, there's so much in there. Beautiful suites. One amazing thing about Iraq. Okay guys, let's eat tomorrow. What are we doing? We're getting a haircut. We're gonna get a haircut and style in the very traditional Iraqi way. I'm not sure about this one. But my hair is looking long right now. So. His hair is the perfect <laughs> length for it. Mine is a bit short, but let's see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Like a very minimal cut. Uh Habibi, he's cutting it. He's proper cutting it? I don't want it cut. Wait, what? Okay. He's cutting. Good luck to Zen. Lamb cutting! Oh, the cut is not cut. Tiny enough! Well, when I was in Pakistan, I looked Pakistani. When I was in Afghanistan, I looked Afghan. Look at me. And now I look. Iraqi! my head out the car. <laughs> that is some volume. Right, just call it down. I'm going to put it on the side of the car. I'm going to put it on the side of the car. I'm going to put it <laughs> this is your next TikTok <laughs> Yeah, wait till you see Whoa. it. Actually, it's like so excited. All right, ice. Okay, we're in the I'm back with Janet. Hey. Um, we're gonna try some of this. It's like a dry ice monster munch thing. Ready? Cheers. And the verdict? <laughs> it's just a dry, like, uh, cheeto. Well, you wouldn't want to have sensitive teeth. It's like burns your teeth. <laughs> Boys are great here in Iraq. Hello. Hello, Mr. Evan. Welcome to Iraq. Huh? <laughs> Hello. So, Eid here in Iraq is just amazing. I've loved every single second of it. But now it's actually time to leave. I also wanted to just say sorry for the lack of uploads on this channel because I originally intended to be filming so much over Ramadan but the whole of the past three years of lack of sleep, of traveling full time, I just moved into my first ever apartment in the Middle East. I, I will hopefully film a whole video about that, my moving process, the new apartment and exactly where it is in the Middle East uh, for you but I, I basically had no energy for the whole of Ramadan, I could barely wake up. And uh, I feel like the whole of the past three years of traveling full time just hit me at once and I was just exhausted. But coming to Iraq this time and actually being here and being away from home, I am finally back into the traveling spirit. So tomorrow I am flying to India. I'll be in India for about 10 days and then after that I'll be heading to the Philippines. Then I'll be back in the UK for a an award show, like a conference, a multiculturalism event, which is so exciting. And then I'll be heading somewhere else very special, which I won't say. And then I'll be heading back to my home. So over the next, I guess, six weeks, I'll be filming a ton of stuff. I cannot wait. I also want to increase the quality, I hope, and uh, show you some of the best places in the world. So I can't wait. Thank you for being patient with me. I love you lots. I hope you had an incredible Ramadan and uh, I'll see you in India.